Well, Taiwan was rattled by two earthquakes around one in the morning on Tuesday, each of a magnitude above five. So far this year, Taiwan has already experienced eight moderate to strong earthquakes, most of them striking in the Heping Sea Basin. According to the Central Weather Bureau, they could be aftershocks of a larger earthquake to come. In the wee hours of Tuesday, Taiwan was struck by two earthquakes of magnitude 5.5 and 5.7. Whereas Sunday's single earthquake had triggered multiple smartphone alerts, this time around, there were no alerts at all. Locals weren't sure what to make of it. The CWB explained that two conditions must be met to activate an alert, a magnitude of five or more and a seismic intensity of at least four anywhere in Taiwan. According to a computer analysis, Tuesday's twin tumblers weren't sufficiently intense. We predicted a seismic intensity of just three, which did not reach the threshold. Since the earthquake's intensity level fell below four, no alert was sent. When there's a time crunch, it's possible for there to be miscalculations. The 2016 Southern Taiwan earthquake that killed 115 and the 2018 Hualien earthquake, which toppled the Marshall Hotel, both happened in February, just before the Lunar New Year. The CWB says it's possible that the shaking on Tuesday is the foreshocks of a larger seismic event. Most of this year's eight earthquakes with a magnitude above five occurred in a subduction zone. The vicinity of the Heping Sea Basin has historically recorded massive earthquakes with magnitudes above 8.5, almost all of which had foreshocks. There was more than one foreshock. We're only 40 days into 2021, but Taiwan has already experienced eight earthquakes with a magnitude of five or higher. Most struck in the Heping Sea Basin. Experts say that in the seven days before the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, Japan was hit by several foreshocks, including one of magnitude 7.7. With a similar trend unfolding today, the CWB says it will keep a close watch on future developments.